Okay, I just turned my Wi-Fi on. All right, so I'm a revolutionary hip-hop artist from Kansas City. I moved to Baltimore, lived in Baltimore for seven years. That's what I do. Uh, when I was 15, I was adopted by a Black Panther family. I mean, the story goes deep, bro. Yeah. My uncles and my adopted family are... I was adopted by a Black family, and my uncles are fucking Panthers and shit. So I do the revolutionary shit. And it's not as popular, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the lyrical <laughs> shit. So let me let me spit. So I, I didn't send you any songs. Here, look, look. I'm always keeping it moving, and now I'm seeing improvement. Proceeded and pursued it, then became a chief in the movement. Cause I'm a beast, and you knew it. A new disease that is fluent and flows to rows of blood vessels. Sinking into it, I'm feasting into it. Expelling through releases of music for your nephew and nieces. Amusement, I'm being a nuisance. I'm like a star wolf. No, and that's a me when I'm too a creature. This ruthless the industry to seem to confuse it. That's when I lose it. So all that shit you're preaching is useless. I'm a musical crown to wicked. The tweeters and speakers booming. Unique when I do it. What I speak is the truest. Absurd verbs that you ever heard have been you see in illusions. They say I'm too controversial. I'm one of Dickens accusing a starving artist with a growling stomach, clean from bleeding when chewing with an insatiable taste. Give me on the beat and I'm drooling, but these record label execs in the sea keep refusing. Mac Malone 816 on YouTube. <laughs> I started rapping in 1991 when I was 11. I've been rhyming for 31 years. I'm turning 43 this year, bro. I'm a vet. I'm a first generation hip hop head. You know what I mean? And when I lived in, on the East Coast, that's when I really learned. The culture and the background and the shit. So that's what I do. I'm on a revolutionary tip. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and down you or anything, man. What I'm gonna tell you is, uh, you got that music where motherfucker be jumping on the stage, turning up, going crazy (laughs) under the Twister Act. What's that shit called? Rave under the Rave Act. You hear what I'm saying? Going crazy with you, man. Um, you push it and find that crowd and keep pushing that movement, man. That shit can be successful, man. Keep doing it. I can't knock nobody for what they do in their dreams, man. That shit decent to me, nigga, because you still was able to spit it and do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. can't do it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to keep it going, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Anything yeah. else you got to say, man, let them know. Uh, We're going to go from there, man. Uh, that's just it. Just uh, tap in, subscribe, Mac Malone 816 on YouTube. Man, my subscribers are busted, bro. Like, I got, like, 400 subscribers. So help me get uh, those up. <laughs> Grab it. Apply, your, apply more pressure. That's all. You're going to get that, yeah. bro. I, hey, I, last month, September, when I just went to that funeral, y'all, September uh, 24th, I had 900 and 50 subscribers September 24th today October 19th or the 20th I got 6,000 bro don't don't give up keep going bro yeah Stay positive. so on my channel I also do sketch comedy I have a couple sketch comedy characters I do uh stories blogs music music videos on there yeah, you, look you know like uh, it's like a one-stop shop like I do all kinds of different shit um, okay. I do this thing called the KC Journalist, where I go okay. around Kansas what was, City. What was Peter Griffin's son name? Chris? Yeah, get your Chris looking ass. Hey! <laughs> so, I got these these stories called the KC Journalist, and I go around the crime scene, cemeteries, where people been murdered and shit, serial killers, and tell the stories. Those are on my page, too. I got the oh, story of Robert okay. Bedella. Okay. We gonna find a way to fit you into the program, bro. I'm trying to build a program and see what the fuck I got, man. I'm still networking and learning myself, man. I'm a fan. Look, man, I've been I've been watching you since you first came on the trenches. I'm always on trenches shit too, bro. And I've tried to tap in a couple times. I bullshit. I bullshit. No, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm bullshit. introducing I'm myself bullshit. because I've never had a chance no, to talk I'm to you. Sarcastic, man. I'm bullshit, man. I fuck with you, man. I, I, and, and we gonna rock and roll. We gonna lock in, bro. I seen messages yeah. in my Instagram from you already. I pay attention to everything. I seen you. You was talking about I doing stuff. Yeah, I sent you my, my thesis so video. Why you, didn't tell, why you didn't just tell everybody else about the preacher and all that stuff, man? People want to hear stuff about that too, bro. Oh, yeah. I, so I, I, I went to... The whole purpose of me, I didn't do this for no reason, bro. I This was no random... <laughs> Well, man, that's what I, I got my hand. I pay attention. I got my hand in so many things. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like I do journal shit, comedy, movies, all that shit. Okay, so yeah, when I 
when I was a kid, I grew up in a Pentecostal church and I went to seminary and I, I went to Bible college to be a youth pastor. I started out as a gospel rapper named Sanctified Soldier. And uh, that's what I did for years. And then I turned 21. My boy took me out to the bar. I got drunk and shit. And that was it, dude. Like, I started turning away from church, got into, you know, all the other crazy shit, started that's running around. Right. See, that's, yeah. the that's what I wanted you to tell everybody. That's what everybody want to hear and feel, bro. And, and yeah. then come with everything else, bro. That's why I said I'm going to find a way to add you into the program, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was actually when y'all were program, y'all. when you guys were looking for somebody to do like the Sunday shit, I sent messages to you, trenches, all y'all. I kept yeah, commenting saying, "Hey, know, let me do I it." Know. I know. I just told you I looked at everything, bro. I'm paying attention to names and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing and recognizing shit. I'm trying to build this shit. This shit gonna get bigger and better, y'all. We gonna get this shit together, y'all. This is a community over here, man, and we gonna rock and support with everybody. We gonna talk shit and crack jokes but we still gonna push the support motive the support yeah. motive in the bullshit man so once again man this mac malone 816 man tell them where they can follow you at and uh um, so I'm gonna, get, I, hold on, I'm gonna get you on here so we can go more into debt one day i'm gonna do an interview with uh, a couple of rappers you yourself okay. Oh, people, man, I'm gonna do some shit. I'm trying to get my program big and better, man. Just rock and roll with me. We gonna build and we gonna be successful, man. Just be patient with me. That's all. Man, I've been watching it. Boom, too. I was watching it. I was like, man, he's almost to that thousand because he was trying to get it monetized. And then I just kept looking every day. Three thousand, five thousand. Like your shit's going, bro. It, it's for sure. You know what it's called? It ain't forced. It's not. It's called unforced error. I, everything that I'm doing right now is natural. I ain't on here trying right. to do all this extra shit. It's natural. People coming and they leave, and I ain't tripping. I ain't even paying attention to that shit. You know what I pay attention to? Motherfuckers that pop on here and be on some negative shit when I'm trying to build and uplift everybody. Nigga, I want everybody to have, have self-esteem and know that they am somebody. I'm somebody, nigga. I'm somebody. This a movement. I'm yeah. dead ass. This a movement. I am somebody the movement. This shit gonna be bigger than R. Kelly Me Too. This is I am somebody. Nigga, you know how many motherfuckers out here just need to hear that so they can keep pushing? It's a I'm lot of motherfuckers you. that hear that one time so they can continue doing what the fuck they doing. Niggas be ready to give up. Niggas be ready to give up. And I want to be the motherfucker Cause a motherfucker, when I was ready to give up, niggas pulled me up and showed me it's a different way and a better understanding. So I can't do nothing but kick out that same fucking energy, man. You hear me? Yeah. That's, that's all I can do, man. So fucking with me, man. We gonna rise like mouth. You hear what I'm talking about? Yeah, straight up. And, and that's man. all, man. I appreciate that's you. You, you too, man. man. It's good to finally I'm talk gonna, to you, bro. I'm going to fit you in on my program. My program going to consist of, just like we was doing on Trenches News Network, we had a comedy. Right. We're we going to have a poetry night. We're going to have the motherfucking church shit going on. We're going to have random motherfuckers popping on here telling life stories. Just watch what I tell y'all. This shit going to get big, man. Me and my brother, man. Swipe. He ain't my real brother, but guess what? That's my brother, the nigga. Oh, everything I love, nigga, he brought me into this shit, man, and introduced me to y'all. So guess what? I, it ain't nothing right but to borrow with y'all. You hear what I'm talking about? I told y'all right. they called me yeah. fucking LeBron Jordan. Just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch it see. Yeah. I'm watching, man. Shit, I'm, I'm rocking yeah, with you. Sure. For sure. I appreciate you popping on, man, you know? Yeah. Like, Man, you ain't know this was gonna happen, but it happened. I didn't know it was gonna happen, but it happened. <laughs> There's the moderator position, and guess yeah. what? Else? You got a you got a chance to introduce yourself to everybody. Motherfucker, get an understanding of you. So guess what? They'd be like, you might say that shit one more time, and they'd be like, hood, go ahead, give it to him. I rock with him and do all this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I love you build yourself up, bro. That's why I said, why you didn't tell us about the the. You know, I want you to look right, bro. I don't, I never let a motherfucker go out looking like a sucker, man. Especially yeah. that support and rock with me, man. I'm different, man. I'm different. 
I'm talking about different whereas niggas put their clothes on forward. I put my shit on backwards, but keep pushing forward. I'm different, man. Oh, yeah, right, man. I got you. Yeah, I love I'm you. I'm with you. Keep yeah, Mac Malone 816 on all platforms. All right, my dude. We gonna Go check out some of my journal videos. I did the Owen Hart story, fucking Terry Blair. I, dude, I got all kinds of cool shit on there. Oh, uh, yeah. I, you know, I like the Razor Ramon, the Million Dollar Man, shit them like niggas like that, man. You come Yeah, see. back when I was a kid, that's when wrestling was the best. The you Junkyard know? Dog, Ultimate Warrior yeah, days. And Roddy Wolf. Piper. Wrestling, that's when wrestling was real. You couldn't tell yeah. me was real. Yeah. <laughs> When NWO was doing wrestling, you couldn't tell me that shit wasn't real, nigga. I thought I was NWO, nigga. I wanted to be Scott Hall. I'm not lying. The Mexican, Razor Ramon, I wanted to be yeah. Scott Hall, nigga. That was my favorite rap, rap wrestler. Mexican. That's my brother's favorite. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. I had a red, a red and black NWO shirt, Wolfpack shirt. Yeah, I had nigga. one. It's true. It's true, y'all. I appreciate you, bro, man. I'm finna go ahead and move on to the next demo, man. We gonna keep pushing. All right, bro. Love, love.